The formula for volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared h, with r being the radius of the circle that is at both ends of the cylinder, and h being the height of the cylinder. In this example, with radius 2 centimeters and height 10 centimeters, let's plug into the formula and see what the volume is. For these examples, we'll use 3.14 as our approximation of pi. r is 2 and is squared, and h is 10. Two squared is four, three point one four times four is twelve point five six, and of course twelve point five six times ten is one hundred and twenty five point six. The unit for distance was centimeters, so the unit for volume will be centimeters cubed. The interesting thing about this formula is we don't have to memorize it. If we already have our area of a circle formula, pi r squared, memorized, then we can figure out the formula for volume of a cylinder when we need it. Let's find the area of the circle at the bottom of this cylinder. The radius is still 2, so the area formula becomes a for area equals 3.14 for pi times the radius 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 3.14 is 12.56. The unit for area will be centimeters squared. When we find the area of the circle at the bottom of the cylinder, we have 12.56, which is the same number we had here, and we got it in the same way by multiplying 3.14 times 2 squared. So the only difference between the volume of a cylinder formula and the area of a circle formula is the fact that the area of the circle in this one is multiplied by h, the height. If we take this 12.56 and multiply it by the height 10 of that cylinder, we get the same answer as we did before for volume, 125.6 centimeters cubed. To me, the easiest way to remember how to find the volume of a cylinder is just to find the area of the circle at the bottom and then multiply by the height, which is really the same thing we're doing if we memorize this formula. That gives me one less formula that I have to memorize before an exam.